This video is a walkthrough of the Spin Quick Start Guide. I've already installed the Spin CLI on my machine so we can get started. This is what the Spin CLI looks like. Today we'll be using the Spin New, Build, and Up commands to develop our application, but there are also a few other commands here that will allow you to do things like package your application and push it to a registry, deploy your application to Fermion Cloud, install and manage plugins and templates, and more. For more information on those commands, please check out our docs website. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run the spin new command. This command will generate a new application for us uh, using a pre-configured template. I'd like to build an HTTP app today in Rust, so I'm gonna select an HTTP Rust template. I'll enter a name for my app and a description. And I'll select the defaults for HTTP base and HTTP path by hitting enter twice. This will create a new directory for me called hello world. And inside it, we'll see a cargo TOML file, a libRS file inside a source directory. That's all pretty standard Rust. And we'll also see the spin.toml file. This is called the spin manifest file. And it's what spin looks at to figure out how to build and run our application. Up top, we're going to see some general information about the application. And below is a list of components and also some information on how to build and execute them. Our application consists of one component called Hello World. Every component needs a unique ID and every component also needs a source field. This source field tells us where the component actually lives. So this is the path to the compiled WebAssembly. The component also has trigger information. This is how the component gets executed. Here we're saying that accessing any route will trigger the component specified in the source field. I'm gonna change this though, so that only accessing the hello route will trigger the um, execution of the component specified in the source field. The last section here is the component build information. And this is the command that you'll need to run to actually compile your application to WebAssembly. And spin build is using this command under the hood to build your application. All right, now let's take a closer look at what the component does. All right, this component has a single function called handle hello world and it takes a request and returns a response. The response contains a status of 200, a header foo bar, and some body, um, hello fermion. It is annotated with this macro called HP component, which comes from the spin SDK. This little component does a lot for us behind the scenes. It generates a bunch of glue code that helps spin execute this function and it also marks the function as the entry point for the component itself. All right, so now that we know what our component does and how to configure it with the spin.toml file, let's actually build our application and run it and see what happens. So I'm going to run the spin build command to build my app. And this is again going to run that cargo build command that we specified in the spin.toml file and it's going to place it at the path specified in the source directory. So let's just make sure that it's there. Um, so I'm gonna do go to target, wasm32 wasi, release, and hello, underscore wasm, and it is there, so that's great. And now we're just going to run spin up. All right, so this is saying that uh, logs for the components are outputted to spin, dot spin logs in this directory. And we're serving this application at 127.0.0.1 colon 3000, otherwise known as localhost 3000. And the hello world component will get execute anytime you actually hit this route over here. So in a different terminal, I'm going to curl this uh, address. And here we see we got a status of 200 okay, the header that we expected and the body we expected, hello Fermion. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to our application 
And let's change this text to hello world, exclamation mark. And we'll save it and we'll just um, change the header to bar baz. And we'll go ahead and go back to our terminal here and run spin build to rebuild that application. And then we're gonna run spin up to rerun that application. And we'll run the same curl command down here. And we see that we got a status 200 okay, which is what we expected. Uh, the header bar bags. And the new text that we expected, hello world exclamation mark. So I hope this gives you uh, a good idea of how to get started with spin. Um, we hope you take it for a spin. And if you have any questions, please join us in our Discord or in the GitHub issues um, and take a look at the rest of our docs. We have lots of examples in both our docs and in our blog posts. So we hope this helps. Thank you so much. Have a great day.